News News correspondent of Yetime George joins me now to tell us more uh, about the situation. Now, of Yetime, uh, the state ought to have a new governor today, but uh, there was a turn in the situation uh, from the uh, courts that was yesterday. Uh, tell us about the signs and, of course, the situation in Biosa State at the announcement by INEC today. All right, over here, tell me, George, if you can hear me. Tell us about the situation in Yenagoa, the Bayosa state capital. How are people taking this news? All right, our correspondent of Yetime George will join us and we uh, get a firm connection from him, of course. All right, this uh, join us at this point now. So, over here, tell me, George, I'm sure you can hear me right now. Tell us about the situation right now. What is happening? What, ha what is the mindset around Yenagoa and Biosa State as regards the announcement by INEC chairman just now? Well, I would say it is... Uh different strokes for different folks on the side of the people's democratic party they are expectant that their man the governorship candidate in the last governorship election senator doria diri would be sworn in as governor governor elect of bielsa state but on the part of the apc disenchantment dissatisfaction with the judgment of the supreme court over uh, the disqualification of uh, the apc governorship candidate David Lyon. But just a few minutes ago, watching the national chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, on television, he announced that Senator Dawye Diri and his running mate, that is his deputy, Senator Lawrence Henry Jackbo, are validly elected governor and deputy governor, respectively. And that triggered a celebration inside here. Where I'm standing is the government house. All right, uh, we hear that security operatives are stationed in the city centre. How true is this? Security situation, you said? We hear that security operatives are stationed at the city centre. How true is this? Uh, if I heard you correctly, you're talking about the security situation. Well, last night, uh, the youth wing of the All Progressives Congress expressed their dissatisfaction by going to the Itik Way roundabout area of Yenagoa and lit a fire it was of course uh, it created a gridlock but due to the professionalism displayed by the Nigerian army the civil defense the police they were able to quell the unrest pacifying the boys to leave but about 30 minutes ago the protesters came to the government house gate in protest over the outcome uh, of the judgment from the apex court but again they also left right now i would say situation security situation is calm but i believe it is so elsewhere where i haven't been able to visit this morning but so far so good this is the venue for the inauguration of senator doye diri as governor and senator lawrence Jackbo as deputy governor respectively they await their arrival from Abuja after collecting their certificates of return. Okay, so while we're expecting the governor-elect to come for his inauguration today, which, which you have confirmed now, um, what, the, what is the mindset of Bielsen's as regard this new administration? Well, mixed feelings. Some are a bit skeptical. But despite this skepticism, some are hopeful. They want to believe that somehow there is a hand of the divine, the creator, that the judgment in favor of the People's Democratic Party coming just yesterday has elements of the divine. Therefore, both men are condemned to deliver on their campaign promises. Nothing short of that. Governor Henry Siriaki Dixon is leaving office today. Today is his last day. Right now, they are having a valedictory executive council uh, session at the Exco chambers, just right behind me. But the people believe, and they are tasking the governor-elect, or of course, uh, the deputy governor-elect, to deliver on their campaign promises, infrastructure development, sustaining it, and of course, welfare desperately looking at uh, 
the lifestyle and welfare of the people of Bayelsa State, not just infrastructure. They want to see a breath of fresh air and an improvement since it is continuity in terms of what they call the restoration government in power here at the Creek Haven in Government House. All right, our correspondent of Vietnam, George, thank you very much for talking to us. Of course, we will get more details from you in our subsequent bulletin.